this isn't one of the most common questions in this game, bro. I don't know what it is. When will my ex come back? Now, bro, you need to understand. Have you mastered 30 days no contact? 30 days is you playing your role properly. This is you putting her on ice. No Twitter, no phone calls, no text messages, no Snapchat, no Instagram, nothing. No watching her stories, bro. Can you play your role properly? And then we have to take into consideration how long were you together? Is this a short term, one year, or one year plus situation, or this is a couple of months? Now, bear in mind, you should never make a girl <laughs> your girlfriend until at least nine to 12 months of dating, okay? And that means you should have been dating other girls while you was dating that girl, okay? You shouldn't be exclusive of her until you've qualified her for at least nine to 12 months. Now, quick plug, boys. If you want to learn real game, go get your copy. It's linked in the description below, okay? Casanova Mastery, bro. You want to get the guts water? You want to know how to spit the seeds in the brain? Get your copy in the link, description below. Now, listen. Breakups happen for a number of reasons. Your fault, her fault. If it's your fault, bro, what did you do? Was you trying to cheat, bro? Remember, I don't condone cheating. If it was her fault, bro, did she take accountability or did you send that bitch back to the can? Did you charge her to the game, bro? And did you release her from her duties? These are the questions that we need to talk about, bro. When will she come back, bro? We never really know. You just need to know that she's gonna come back. I've had exes come back four years later. They tried to contact my brother through Instagram. Bro, I've had to change my phone number because bitches keep calling me, bro. Tragic, tragic. There is no time frame. You just need to know that it can happen and it will happen if she sees your value. All right, so every now and again, breakups can, can blindside you, which basically means they catch you off guard, bro. You didn't read any negative signs. And again, if you can't read the signs, bro, on the balance of probabilities, you're probably not playing your role correctly. However, there are certain circumstances where she can wake up one day and she can just say, I'm, I'm done. That's a lie. I'm lying to you, bro. I tell you only truths, bro. Any girl that breaks up with you, bro, that's because there's a better option there. Another Donnie's been in her mind, bro, and you just haven't read the situation properly. Don't think anything other than that. She's not trying to concentrate on herself bro she's not trying to think about work bro there was a replacement there's another donny there there's another orbiter that you haven't seen okay maybe it's her study buddy maybe it's a donny at work maybe it's a guy that she saved as a fast food restaurant in her phone bro when she's texting jessica bro jessica is james okay don't ever sleep on the orbiter the orbiter is the most dangerous donny in this game that we play of love and romance this whole blindsiding when it talks to when, when we're talking about her breaking up with you. When this happens, bro, she can't see your leadership, she can't see your value. Nothing more, nothing less. Maybe you became feminine, and ultimately, bro, you're just letting down the brand. The male brand, you're not playing your role as a man. Are you bad for the brand? That is the question. Look yourself in the mirror, bro. Are you bad for the brand? Or are you just acting vaginal? Women are engineered to highlight weaknesses in men. Stop being bad for the brand. Scenario number two, bro. You had a long time contract. One, two, three, four, five years contract, bro. She caught you cheating. You think she's gonna come back, bro? Do you really think she's gonna come back? She caught you cheating, bro. Now, if you're a high value man and you played your role properly, bro, and you sort of told her that, you know, I'm still playing the field. Then she might share you. But I know you didn't do that, bro. I know you sold her a dream. You told her that it was just you and her. And you cheated and you got caught like a rookie. All right, no judgment. Is she going to come back? Might take her time. Five years is a long time. But remember... There is no credit. Remember, relationships are performance-based. She doesn't care how long you've been together. She doesn't care. That means absolutely nothing. So don't think I was with her for five years and it's guaranteed that she's going to come back. Don't sell yourself that dream. Remember, bro, the angrier she is at you, bro, the more she cares. Don't think opposite. When she's thinking about you, bro, she's angry. That means you're controlling her emotions. 
regardless of whether you control them positively or negatively, it works in your favor. When she's angry, she cares. She cares because she wants you. When she wants you, it's favorable for you. The question is, when does she come back? And when she comes back, bro, what are you going to do about it? All right. When she does come back, bro, you have to be completely different. Completely different guy. Maybe you're physically different, new hairstyle. You look bigger in the gym, bro. More muscles, no homo. You're financially in a better position. Maybe you got a new car. Maybe you bought a new place. You need to be unrecognizable to this gal. The worst thing you can do is stay in this exact same position. She comes back to you and your whole situation is exactly the same as she left it. This is not what you want, bro. You need to be completely different. The way you talk, the way you talk to her, your whole situation, man to woman connection, needs to be 100% different. Scenario number three, this is basically the process where you should probably move on. Now, disclaimer at this point, bro, support me. I hope you've liked the video, man. I'm only dropping gems, bro, support me. Like the video, drop an emoji, helps the channel grow. All right, now, you've been dating a couple of months and she, you dated a couple of months and she comes back randomly or you're hoping that she comes back randomly, bro, you have to move on. You can't wait. Like, yes, on the balance of probabilities, your ex will come back to you. But there is also the percentage that she might not come back to you. And that's okay, because we have to be realistic that there are other Donnies that might be better than you. So don't take it personally, bro. Live your life. Go out, get a nicer girl. Get a better girl that's good for you. Remember, just because she's more attractive doesn't mean the guts are better. Don't make that mistake. Just because she's attractive, bro, and she you 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 think she's a nine, doesn't mean the guts are as good as the sevens. And that's all I'm saying. She might be stiff. Alright? Move on, bro. Don't hold on to it. Move on. Number four, you date on and off. You was together, break up together, break up together, break up. We all know that situation. We've all got that friend that's in and out of a relationship with a girl for a number of years. One argument, break up. But next argument, break up. Headache, if you ask me, bro. I'll get rid of that girl immediately. However, you just don't know in these situations, bro. There's always that connection, but there's always something that isn't quite working out, bro. But the realities are, bro, they will come back. Don't wait for her to come back, but she will come back if she sees your value. Nothing more, nothing less, man. See you guys in the next one, man. Check out the books in the description box. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Peace.